Rosewood, Florida, was the site of a tragic and significant event in American history, known as the Rosewood Massacre. Rosewood was a small, predominantly African-American community in Levy County, Florida. Established in 1845, it was initially a quiet, self-sufficient whistle-stop on the Seaboard Airline Railway. The town's economy was primarily based on the timber industry. The name, Rosewood, refers to the abundant red cedar that was harvested and sent to a pencil factory in Cedar Key. By the 1920s, Rosewood had its own school, churches, a Masonic hall, and a small population of predominantly middle-class African Americans. Some families owned land, and several were successful in local businesses. The Rosewood Massacre was a racially motivated massacre of black people and destruction of the black town of Rosewood in January 1923. This violence was triggered by a false accusation that a black man had assaulted a white woman in a nearby community. A mob of several hundred white people descended on Rosewood, leading to the death of at least six black Rosewood residents and two white attackers. The town was entirely destroyed, homes and businesses were burned to the ground, and survivors fled, never to return. For decades, the events of Rosewood were largely forgotten or ignored. The survivors and their descendants kept quiet about the massacre, and there was little official recognition or investigation. In the 1980s, renewed interest in the incident brought it back into public awareness. In 1994, the Florida legislature passed the Rosewood Compensation Bill, which provided compensation to survivors and their descendants. The Rosewood Massacre is now recognized as a significant event in American history, illustrating racial violence and injustice. It has been the subject of books, documentaries, and a feature film, Rosewood, 1997, directed by John Singleton. The history of Rosewood is a stark reminder of the racial tensions and violence in early 20th century America. It underscores the importance of historical memory and the need for reconciliation and justice in the aftermath of such events.